Hey PCOM! Well, we're two week six, which means we are kind of closing in on the end of the semester. This has gone super fast and I've really enjoyed reading all your work so far. So the setup for this part of the course uh, goes like this. We're going to be following up on the content from the chapters and you're going to be doing some stuff on communication theory. The grades here are going to be highly individual, so there's three parts to this assignment. We're going to, this week, have you form teams and do a meeting, and then your grade, though, is going to be individual. It'll be on your own reflection about that meeting. Next week, you'll submit a presentation video, so I will grade that presentation myself. I will use a traditional rubric. It'll be a group grade. Uh, and then the third grade that you will get will be about the feedback that you give and your own self-reflection uh, on how you think the presentation went. So basically, uh, this week and next week are kind of the last real timed moments. Uh, once you all have your team videos up, you can cruise through the rest of the content of the course. So let's take a look at this week's agenda. All right, so here we are in week six. Uh, you'll see up at the top, it goes through a couple of things. You're watching this video around the first one. The second one that's on there is a video about team communication. Uh, this is by Dr. Daisy Loveless. She is a professor at Duke and she is an expert on leadership, on team communication, on diversity. And her setup there is excellent. There might be a little bit of crossover to OBHR in the very first few minutes, but I think the whole second and third portions of that will be new. It's all super useful. It also talks about the idea of holding meetings remotely and doing self-reflection, which is what we're doing this week. The next thing that you'll want to do is there's actually two assignment sheets on here. There's one up at the top and then one right underneath here uh, that I'll move up for you. And one goes through the team presentation full assignment. The second one's going to go through your self-reflection. So the team assignment I will open up for you here. There we go. Uh, is a group presentation. This will be one that, of course, you're doing remotely. Um, and you can do this as a slide share. So you can find some way to do it, or you can do it like I'm doing right now. We're using some software or um, Team Zoom, if you can figure out how to do it. Uh, you can do any of that to record yourself on the screen. Uh, based on last semester, and of course you know this from just watching the videotape lectures this semester, uh, that the more you can get a little bit of FaceTime on there, the more you can do a few hand motions and nonverbals, the better off the, you're really going to see them on these presentations. Uh, the other way people did that last semester is to include a nice headshot picture on each slide so we know who's presenting, and that works really well too. So your group is going to record this SlideShare presentation. You can do this at the same time, ideally. If that's really not going to work, I have teams last semester piece them together. Big thing there is you want to make it seem like you are working as a team. And then you will take this 10 minute or eight to 10 minute presentation and submit it by putting a link on the discussion board. I don't want the straight video files. Those make e-learning so slow, so let's not do that. Uh, instead, go post it on YouTube, put it up on Comet Space Box, put it on Google Drive. Comet Space, of course, is our most like FERPA safe. And then put the link uh, available on the discussion board. Make sure your team checks that recording. Uh, the point of this presentation is to build upon your knowledge of communication theory, but also get some experience doing an online presentation in an environment that's really concerned about your communication. So you're informing people about this theory and then using visual aids. So you're going to select a list of, uh, for one thing from a list of communication theories. My recommendation this semester is actually to go ahead and pick uncertainty theory and uncertainty management theory. Those are really key things that can help you understand what's happening right now. And the way we um, even are dealing with things here at school. So as a group, pick a theory. Uncertainty is a wonderful one. And then your group will be to explain this theory to the class and demonstrate its practical application. So if you're looking at uncertainty management, you can talk about, hey, this is an email we got from the school. Here's how some people might have managed it. Uh, there's other theories on there. They're both traditional communication theories as well as theories that are a little bit different. Um, the other video that I posted a few weeks ago goes over that, and I'll link that as well in here. You want to think about how we can make this topic interesting. Is there credible research? And there is credible research on all of this. And then what examples can we pull in that will make this interesting for our audience? 
I recommend you use three to five main body points and back it up with research. I want to see you talk about at least five really good sources, but I'm not requiring um, some of the formal outlines or anything like that for this class. I just really want to see how you choose to communicate about these communication theories. You do have to use visual aids. Uh, how you choose to do that's up to you. You'll want to think about connecting with your audience. That means little questions like, hey, uh, how many of you, so it could be a rhetorical question, how many of you have experienced uncertainty? How many of you have been unsure? Things like that. Uh, your delivery will matter here, so there's a whole rubric on that. With this, you want to think about volume and fillers, pace, vocal variety. One thing that happened last semester, and I'm, I'll just go ahead and tell you I'm watching for this semester, is the people who had done Quincia ended up doing much better on this assignment because they'd already had all of that assessed and graded. So apply everything you learned from there. You'll see the length of the presentation and then <laughs> ignore that about the 10 credible sources. I'll delete that off. Everything else on here, you'll think about organization, the body, think about how you can do delivery. Physical delivery says where appropriate. So if you choose not to use this little bubble, that means I'm going to be grading vocal delivery more harsh, harshly, more intensely and physical delivery won't be part of this 20 points. On the next couple pages, you'll also see a rubric for an outline. You are not required to do an outline for this class, but I'm leaving it because this is really the outline you could use if you wanted to have somewhere to start. It goes through the format, but again, you don't need to do that. <clears throat> and then the last part is about the slides. I'm not grading these slides as an independent product. I already have your slides that we looked at last week. Instead, um, this is for you to have some ideas of what you might want to do, uh, but based on the ones I've seen from last week, you're going to be good there. So what you will do is you've read through this assignment, the <clears throat> next thing you'll do is click on join a team's team presentation self sign up and you're going to see in here that there's a number of groups. So I think we've got 10 different groups that you can choose to join. Uh, it should show you the names of who is in those teams and then uh, you'll see some people have already joined which is awesome uh, but that means that, that some of these people might have coordinated don't join a team unless if there's people there and they have coordinated that's kind of hard to figure out but uh, otherwise i would say just start with number one and go ahead and add yourself to the team uh, and we'll move on from there once you have clicked sign up that does put you into the team and the only way to back out of it is to uh, <laughs> Uh, basically, um, email me and uh, have me move you. So if you do need to send that email, be really clear, like, hey, my name and the grade book is, I am in team presentation one, but I meant to click on 10. So you'll join the team, post an introduction of yourself, and then the other thing you'll want to put as part of that introduction is your availability. So you might say, hey, I'm available on Wednesday nights, um, or I'm available during our normal class time would be a really good time to do this. Uh, does that meeting time work for you or maybe you want to set up some other way to meet? You'll hold that meeting. You can choose to meet on Teams, on Zoom, um, whatever else you want. And there's also an assignment sheet here that's going to walk you through some of that. Uh, so I'll pull this over into our screen. It's kind of a weirdly formatted document. I'll show you why in a second. So it walks through all the requirements of this. Uh, essentially, you're going to hold the meeting. Uh, once you're in a group and then you're going to work on your presentation in the meeting. I've given you a brainstormed list here with a bunch of things you might talk about, but you're going to look at that and be like, that's not a meeting agenda. And that's right. In fact, what I would suggest is pick someone out of your team to make an agenda for the meeting, uh, apply what you learn in that Loveless lecture, apply what you're going to see in these articles that I've linked, and those will give you some ideas of what you might want to do. I would not recommend taking my list and trying to go through every single thing in, let's say, a 45-minute meeting. After you do that, here's the next thing you're going to do, which I'm going to guess nobody's done before, and that is you're going to write a reflection on how you think the meeting went. Quick reminder is that Loveless goes and talks about actually doing reflections, so this is an expanded version of what she's doing and something that uh, several of us have always wanted to do here in JSOM, so I am really excited to try this out this semester. Uh, we're looking at giving this to everybody in spring. Uh, so you'll see there it goes through and says, hey, we need to think about what matters, what went well, what are we successful at, what would we refine for the future. I'm making your life easy here. If you've had me before, you've seen a similar setup. 
where I'm going to have you fill out a reflection and feedback rubric where you can talk about your own performance or your team's. Everybody does this individually and then you will uh, upload it to turn it in. Your team won't see it. It's just going to be myself and the TA. So you'll read through the rubric and then you'll get down here and it'll say, what did you take to prepare for the meeting? It goes through a long list here about different things you could consider or talk about. You don't have to talk about all of them. Um, just pick some of them for doing a reflection and analysis. There's three tables, so one that goes over content, participation, and organization, and then the last one on nonverbal skills for you to talk about how everything went with the meeting and what you would do to make it better for next semester or for work or for after graduation. I know you're all in different places. So when you're done with that, you will upload it um, here down at the bottom and where it says team meeting reflection. And then next week, you'll be working on recording a team video. You'll have a week to do that. So this week, think really big picture. How do we prepare for this? What can we learn about team communications and meetings? And then most importantly, what goals can you set as you reflect on your own performance in the meetings so that you can get better at it in the future? All right, like I said, uh, this is an assignment that we're prepping or I've written and we're prepping for rollout for everybody in spring where we actually do meetings and think about teamwork and team communication in reflective and analytical ways. If you have any suggestions or comments on how to make this even better, please let me know. My sort of cross fingers were all back on campus and so this will be a whole different process in spring 2021 maybe. Uh, but for this semester, do let me know how it went and if you have any suggestions on how to make this even more straightforward for you. All right, everybody, good luck. Have a fantastic week.